Hey everyone, my name is Miss Finan, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a cute spring bunny. I'm gonna be using 80 pound drawing paper, a Sharpie and watercolor paints, but don't worry, no matter what you have, you can make one too. Just follow along. All right, let's get started drawing our bunny. And remember, no matter what you have, it'll all turn out amazing. I'm left-handed, but I'm gonna use my right hand to help me place where I'm going to put the bunny's head. And whatever you're using to draw with, you're gonna start at the very bottom of the paper and make your marker or drawing utensil jump over your hand. And you'll notice that I'm drawing very, very slowly because when I draw slowly, I feel in control. And now I'm eyeballing these corners up here because I'm gonna draw my bunny ears and I don't want itty bitty ears. It might look like a cat or a mouse if I do that. I'm gonna make sure that my ears reach all the way up to the corner. And you might even wanna practice with your finger. I call this invisible drawing. And then when you're ready, just go up, over, and down. And you can make your line a little bit wavy to make the ear look like it's bent. But over and down. And now I'm gonna add in the inner part of the ear. And I kind of like to make my lines a little bit messy. I find that living things like plants and animals don't usually have perfect straight lines in them and making a little bit wavy of a line makes it look better. Now I've got my bunny and I have the ears and it's time to make the eyes. You can make the eyes however you want. I'm just going to make some elongated dots for my eyes. And then I'm going to make one that's sideways for the nose right here. Now, underneath the nose, I'm gonna make a J, and then I'm gonna make another J. And you can leave it like this if you'd like, or you can wrap it around to the nose. And then I'm going to create the teeth down here, going down, over, and up, leaving a little space, down, over, and up. And last of all, for this bunny, I'm going to make some whiskers. And you can make straight whiskers, wavy, or zigzag. But I'm feeling fancy today. I'm gonna make my whiskers be a little bit curly at the ends. I like trying different things and making things a little bit special and a little bit different. Now, no matter what it is that you have at home, you can use it to color with. Just make sure that you get permission. I'm going to use, if I can grab my brush out of this holder, I'm gonna use some Crayola watercolors just for the background and the ears and the nose. But I always wanna remember that when I'm painting, I only use one color at a time. So let's go for purple. I'm gonna tickle my first color, melt it down a little bit, and carefully start painting in my bunny. I'll check in with you when I'm done. So there you have it, there's my spring bunny. And I wanted to show you another one that I made before you go. I found a piece of a magazine and I found some old makeup in my drawer. So I made this bunny using um, eyeliner and lip liner, lipstick, and even mascara. So if you have some used makeup, you might be able to make some art with it too. Just don't forget to ask permission. All right, bye guys.